Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. And today we're gonna to be talking about Craft Animation Director. Uh, it's a, an awesome plugin for, uh, for 3ds Max, Maya and Motion Builder. It enables you to animate vehicles and planes and things like that. So it's really, really, really powerful. And my ex uh, testing was to see if it could actually, I could take the data, you know, this awesome data and use it inside of uh, iClone. So guys, if you're new to my channel, as always, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe here and hit that notification bell after you subscribe so you are alerted when I post a new video. And as always, thank you so much to all my steady subscribers and to my patrons on my Patreon account. I appreciate the support, guys. So let's go back. So if you need to, if you want to download this plugin and test it for yourself, you just need to go to craftanimations.com and click the one, the most recent one, which is CDS 20.2.4. And that one, when you click on that, it'll bring you to this window and you'll be able to download it for Maya, for 3ds Max and for Motion Builder as well. So here's the scene inside of uh, 3ds Max. So the way this plugin works is that uh, under the utilities over here, uh, you simply load this craft director plugin and it's going to be, let me see if I can bring it up right here. And once you start it, you can simulate and then you can use a joystick. I'm using this attack three joystick and I've, I've went in and linked it up so that, uh, so when I am doing the control for the vehicle, I could use a gamepad, a keyboard, but I'm preferring to use my this joystick. And I've mapped all the keys. And for example, here, you notice that there's nothing for the booster. And that is like the acceleration. You can click on detect and then press the, the button that you want. And it detected the trigger. So then that becomes the booster for that when the car needs to accelerate. And for left and right, it has already detected that. And you can go through and map this. And then after what you've done, you can save the profile, like save as data profile. So that's what loads whenever you load uh, Craft Director. So this version, it offers a free version as well as a pro version. So when you click on this right here, you see that there's a free version. And so there was one for planes. If you want to fly your plane off a, like a, an airport and then up into the sky, it works really well. And it even, uh, so the paid version has helicopter trailer. It has two wheeler, like if you need to do a bike, like a motorcycle, four wheeler extended, if you need to do like calipers and brakes and things like that, that's what you use. So this is free. The for free version is, it still gives you the ability to do what you're going to see in this demonstration. Okay. So I've already mapped it. And here's, uh, once you've linked up, you know, the, when you create the rig, it will give you this starting point and then you map it and you link each, every part of it to match the body of your vehicle. And I'm trying to go this real quick so I can get to the demonstration of uh, iClone just to give you a foundation. So here's a, uh, an example of what I recorded and actually underneath all of that, I mean, on top of that, I do have the the vehicle of the, the truck and I've linked it up. So when you, when I play back the animation, you can see it responding. Like when I press the trigger or that when I pull back the joystick, I'm able to either slow down, accelerate a little bit, and you can see the, the like dynamics, right? So you can see the turning of the wheels. That is really, really cool. So that's why I, this is a really powerful tool to use uh, for animation. But what if you want to take it to iClone, right? And use it there. So what you do is you, after you've recorded, the animations and they've applied to the keyframes have been applied to the rig. Then you export this as an FBX file. All right. So you export it from 3ds Max or Maya. And so once you've exported it, then I'm going to go to iClone and import this as an FBX file, you know, and it will bring in the animation. And so you can see the animation here. And you can see it. Uh, this is the demo I did. I, I posted a video on my YouTube channel to showcase what this looks like. So I wanted to combine this with uh, 
the uh, smooth the <laughs> smooth camera <laughs> sorry this uh, Python samples it's called smooth camera follow this is a plugin that's available from Realusion and you're able to track your vehicles so that because normally when you do like an animation for a vehicle you want to be able to track it like almost like a flying drone you know like delayed motion things like that to give it more realistic motion so here if you're going to tell a story and in this setting I have the track in like some kind of uh, African setting and you want to follow it along maybe it's on a, I'm thinking of story now you know so <laughs> you try to think of a story and then apply this because when you have these tools for animation they still you still have to use them to tell the story so in this story I want to, to follow the track the data has been imported as you can see and you can see the wheels are moving nicely over there right so how do you achieve that camera smooth camera motion now that you have the the uh, craft director plugin data in here on the track just like i showed you so what you do is go go again to <clears throat> let's go to plugins uh, python samples smooth camera follow okay and this here is a t the trick if if all i did okay let me go go ahead and create a camera if all i did was a uh, this create the camera which is now active and then i said i selected the camera one and then said follow the track animated because i brought this track in with the uh, the terrain if i play that back right and sorry if i applied all that and i said now follow and it's gonna go ahead and calculate all the frames that are needed and you can see that depending on the uh, power of your, your machine but you see what just happened so now the camera is like right in the center of the vehicle right in there and then it it's it's like it picks up the the terrain because i wanted to make sure that the train that this uh, vehicle is on is still the same train that i sent to icon and so if i had it like have like undulation that like the track was going up and down the, the motion would match the train so because that's why i want i took that train and brought it in here but unfortunately if you when you do that then you don't have the center point like the track is all by itself which is what you want to track so that what you do then is create a box of some kind let's go to create primitives and create a box right in parent that box and make sure but by the way you do it at the beginning here let me make sure there's no animation so I'm gonna move this box and I'm gonna put it inside the track because that's the one we want to track and then we're gonna change the parent of this box to be the track itself okay so struck body so there even though when i bring in the elements of the terrain uh it has it still has the individual parts so even though it looks like it's one piece like over here you can see track animated it's the entire terrain you can still like if i turn it off it turns off everything but the more different parts are in there so when you're picking the parent you'll be able to pick something in there so now we have a, a box parented and we'll call this is box number one uh, box zero sorry and let's just uh for organization say call it track right and so now it's named so it's gonna follow let's uh, close this again let me try again i just make sure that that's our box right and it's parented to the track body and so when we play back you can see that the box is going along with the track wherever the track goes the box is gonna follow as well okay so now we need our camera to track that box now you could use the camera by itself right to track for example we can say look at and we can make it look at the box the, the box here and then when we play back now uh, let's make sure we are in that camera view camera one when we play back so now it's looking at <laughs> the track like that okay so that's not what you want we want to be able to look at track the box okay let's go back 
and let's uh, turn our camera this way. I'm just showing you what the difference between the camera, smooth camera follow and this right here. So when we play back, it's still looking at that. <laughs> All right, and that can have different results. So when we use, when we select the, 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 the our camera here and go to plugins, uh, Python samples, smooth camera follow, and we have the camera selected and we want it to track our box that we named, okay? Now let's do try to follow and see what happens. Let's wait for it. And again, like I said, depending on... <laughs> so you see what it did? That That is not again what you're looking for. So I'm trying to do these errors and this messing up so that you get a sense of why don't... so you don't get frustrated, okay? So let's go back, camera, here, and let's create a new camera create a new camera okay and make sure you use current offset that will make sure that you it has the camera where it's supposed to be so use current offset okay and make sure we have camera 2 selected use current offset and then follow and then we we I set it to five with a frame delay and tautness. This is how soft you want the camera to be as it's following the object. All right, let's see how we what it, the result is going to be. Boom. Okay. So now we have the correct uh, result that we're trying to look for. So the, the, it's able to track the vehicle smoothly, back and forth. Look at, at that. <laughs> and then I can also press Control 7. Let me first pause, press Control 7. So the keys have already been baked on the timeline. So now when I go back, uh, Control 7 to full screen, press space bar, and that is the final result of our testing, guys. So that, that's what I was trying to show share with you. As you can see, the box is still up in the viewport, just to give you an idea of what it's tracking. And I hope this was helpful. So if you have like a really cool animation that you've done in 3ds Max, and you want to send it to iClone using the Craft Director plugin, this is the way you do it. And the result is this. So thanks again, guys, for joining me today. I hope you learned something. I hope this was helpful. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. And let's hold pause, control seven, and then you can even get the little box, modify, and then turn it into a dummy. Uh, this one, set as dummy, and then deselect, control seven, Control 7 to go back to the beginning. And control 7, space bar, and there we go. So thanks again, guys. And take advantage of, of this uh, plugin to create your animations that then you can bring into uh, iClone and then render in real time, just like you're seeing right here. And uh, that that's uh, I th something that I discovered and I wanted to share with you so that you guys can also take advantage of it. Please, as always, dare to dream big. Don't give up on your dream, guys. Much love and please stay safe. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And please consider becoming a patron as I continue to create these uh, tutorials and insights. Thank you so much, guys. Bye for now.